as a flame disappears in endless light, immortally extinguished in his soul, immortally extinguished. What a kind of an oxymoron, you see. <laughs> in his soul, vanished the splendor and was stilled in the world. Vanished the splendor. The Divine Mother was standing there and still, what she was speaking, let us stop now. Whatever has to be communicated, for me. Immortally extinguished, a flame disappears in endless light. You see, you have a very bright background and in front of it is a flame which is not that bright. So you can see that flame in the background of that light which is there behind. See, in, in physics, we have a technique of measuring the temperature of hot bodies. You can't approach, you can't put thermometer, you can't do anything there at all because nothing can go. But the light is coming from a furnace, let us say, very hot furnace. Then you take a piece of wire pass a little current there and the current becomes hot and it becomes bright. Now you keep on increasing the power in the, in the, in the filament so that it becomes brighter and brighter. The moment the brightness of the wire matches the brightness of the background, you don't see the wire at all. It vanishes. Not that the wire has gone away, but the wire is not visible to us. It is called the vanishing filament. The filament, you keep on increasing the power, it becomes brighter and brighter. It matches with the background intensity and there is no difference between that and this. So, you, you don't see the wire at all. At all. If there is a little difference, the power between the two, then the wire becomes distinct. So, in that sense, now, she is receding, receding, receding into the brightness, becomes brighter and brighter. So that her brightness and the brightness which is there behind, they become one and therefore she is no more visible. In that sense, she has not perished, she is not extinguished, she is immortally there. With the same intensity with which she was present in front of that background, you see. In other words, when she is coming out of that intensity, she has to kind of come with reduced light. Obviously, she is presenting herself with somebody. It is not with that full thing. You can't say that thing at all. And therefore, she it was visible to her. She was visible. As a flame disappears in endless light, immortally extinguished in its source. See, that radiant, that unknowable. She is coming from the unknowable. So it has gone back into the unknowable. Vanished the splendor and has filled the world. So that is how she kind of goes out of view. She does not disappear. She goes out of view. You see. An echo of delight was once closed. So she was speaking, that word was there, she was speaking. He was very close to her. An echo of delight that once was closed. He was listening to that delight. The harmony journeyed to some distant hush that unknowable such a music falling in the ear of trance, cadence called by distant cadence, a voice that trembled into strains withdrawn. Earlier in the first sentence, it is the image of light. In this sentence, it is the image of sound. How she has become silent. How she has fallen silent, you see. An echo of delight that once was closed, the harmony journeyed to some distant hush, distant as the unknowable, which is indescribable, which cannot be spoken in any language at all. A music feeling in the ear of trance, when you are in deep trance, there is no music, nothing, silence. A cadence called by distant cadences. So, although it is a hush, it is a silence. It is not a total blank. 
it has its own cadences its own music its own lights its own attributes they are not come into forefront in the manifestation which is a different thing but they are there a cadence called by distant cadence a voice that tremble into strain withdrawn so she had come to speak something she has spoken now her job is done she is going back withdrawn her form retreated from the longing earth we want her to be there but she has gone back now forsaking nearness to the abandoned sense see our senses now have been left beside she cannot be approached at all ascending to her unattainable home unattainable home the unknowable nobody can reach there she is coming from the unknowable beyond the transcendent beyond any manifestation she has gone out of total manifestation she had appeared from the unknowable she had presented herself to him now she is going back to her home ascending to her unattainable home long brilliant vacant like the inner thing now what happens in between so she has gone back the fees are now long vacant you see all was unfilled in ordinary spirit space only spirit space that's all she is not there now the power is not there but the spirit is there in different ways a desert of bright in different because she is not there ways because she is not there her presence is not there when her presence is not there all is waste all is waste you see a desert a bright peace bright peace so she has gone back everything is now without her their presence but then what happens still see she has said one shall descend something should happen about that in that context in that connection then a line moved on the far edge of calm a warm lift sentient soft terrestrial wave so from those beyond faces from the unknowable something is moving stirring up the space then a line moved on the far edge of calm the warm lift sentient soft terrestrial wave you see the wave has lips they are warm lips and they are moving in the space here a quick and many murmured moan and laugh came gliding in upon white feet of sound white feet of sound so sound has feet and its feet are white <laughs> because it is all in the brightness in the luminosity there is coming out here see. wave there where there for sound it is moving around here and locked with the deep glory of silence your heart unlocked for the deep glory of silence she said he had unlocked the doors of fate and they were unlocked for the deep glory of silence the unknowable who doesn't speak at all it is he who is speaking out now in what way in what way one shall descend now it is the description of one descending that line that movement etc etc is what yes she is coming she has gone back but she has leave left something behind her in the trace and it is that trace which will take birth as savitri unlocked for the deep glory of silence are the absolute unmoving stillnesses that is the description of the unknowable absolute unmoving stillness surrender to the breath of mortal air she has come now into the mortal peace into the mortal peace she is absolute she is silent but she has now accepted the mortal birth she has condescended to pass the portals of the birth that is the death that is the description surrender to the earth to the breath of mortal surrender to the breath of mortal she accepts she condescended to pass the portals to the birth that is the death that is the mortal birth 
or Savitri or the Divine Mother on earth in Jesus. Surrender to the breath of mortal air, dissolving boundlessly the heavens of trance, collapse to waking mind. So she has now come into the waking mind here in the field where man is, Manomaya Purusha is there, where the evolution has, the stage to which the evolution has come. Unlocked for the deep glory of silence, or the absolute unmoving stillnesses, surrendered the breath of mortal air, dissolving boundless to the heavens of grace, collapsed to waking mind. So all that thing which that disturbs you there, it has now found itself into the mortal state, into the mind. Eternity passed down its incommunicable deeds. Looking down here, cast down is incommunicably over its solitudes, remote from ken, behind the voiceless mystery of sleep. Now, everything is kind of closed there, you see. The grandeur, the spite, pain, the wide relief. She has come back now as a trace, as a line, as a moment. One shall descend. That is the image of the description of that one shall descend. This whole thing unlocked for the deep glory of silence and the absolute annoying stillnesses, surrendered the breath of mortal air, dissolving boundlessly the heavens of trance, collapse to waking mind, the grand use respite, pain, the white relief. So, that is the second moment. The first moment was she is vanishing like a flame into her own radiance. The second moment is while she is going, she is leaving behind a kind of a trace, a luminous trace, which is now approaching the mortal air, mortal world, and it is that which is spring up here. The third moment. So, as far as her going is come on, the rendezvous is over, she has gone, this is happening. Now, what happens to this man, to this yogi? You see, this is what we have got here. <laughs> Across the light of past, the same plane that fled from him, as from a falling star, from him, that is Ashwapati, who had approached her. Across the light of past, the same plane. That played from him as from a falling star. See, the star is falling. But then what happens? The star is seeing as if the planes are climbing up. <coughs> it is a vertical relativity. The star is coming down, we see. But as far as star is concerned, star is concerned, you see the planes climbing up, rising up above. Across the light of past sitting flame that fled from him as from a falling star, compelled to fill his human house in time. So he is now compelled to come back to earth. You see, he has left the he has left Mathi Mandir, now has to come back to ashram and look after the management of the ashram. <laughs> the things which are here you see, in this world, compelled to fill his human house in time. His soul drew back into the speed and noise, the vast business of created things, or the vast business of created things. He has to attain to the duties of the world. He has to come back. Business of created things. Now, this is a very important phrase. It is not only, you see, he had retired to the forest. For 18 years, he did tapasya for 18 years, according to the story of Mahabharata. And then he received the boon from the Divine Mother. She rises from the art of flame and she grants him the boon of her daughter. He is happy. He goes back to his kingdom, to his capital city, to look after his kingdom. He has to take care of the world here. In other words, all this is for what? 
you want to bring down the divine power yes 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 for what ultimately you had to work here in this world for this that is one important thing so created things he cannot forget but it is something more than that which this yogi has to do 